out of the waters of the sea. And from the rain that falls from heaven, from the miraculous light of the sun, and from the warmth of the life-giving earth. Almighty God compounds wonders for the children of men. saying in the Netherlands that the Lord made heaven and earth, but the Dutch made Holland. And in a way, this saying is true, for the Dutch did make Holland. The land on which their windmills stand was once beneath the waters of the sea. Holland's capital city is Amsterdam, established as a fishing village on the banks of the Zuider Zee in the year 1204. Bridges seem to be everywhere, 350 of them linking the city's island sections together. Much of Holland's transportation is waterborne on the hundreds of miles of canals that interlace the cities and link towns and villages together. Here's a quaint old Dutch tradition. For just a few pennies, you can enjoy the music of a roving organ grinder. These Dutch craftsmen not only build their own organs, they also compose and create the music patterns they play. A combination of craftsmanship and musical talent passed down from father to son, generation after generation. Speaking of Dutch traditions, the time-honored ritual of the cheese market at the city of Altmar is certainly one of them.
Schrader's traditional hand slap really sealed the Dutchman's contract. And so, in the holds of Dutch-built barges, Dutch-made cheese moves from Alkmaar to other towns and villages and cities. Age-old bell towers flood the air with melody every passing quarter hour. The village elders spend their afternoons in chew and chatter clubs. Their hats look familiar to our eyes, but their shoes are strictly Dutch. Mark and girls look like girls. But not so Mark and boys. This is a Mark and boy, despite the storybook Golden Curls. The Hague, a city situated on the canal between Rotterdam and Amsterdam, is the seat of the Netherlands government. From time to time, the people of The Hague are treated to spectacles of medieval pomp and pageantry. This occasion is a visit from Queen Juliana and her royal court to open the next session of Parliament. It was to this country that the Lord called the American evangelist T.L. Osborne to conduct a great evangelistic campaign. To Queen Juliana's nation with its thousands of years of pomp and ceremony, the miracle ministry of Jesus Christ was to be proclaimed afresh. To this land of 500-year-old churches and formal Christianity, a fresh visitation of a gospel confirmed by miracles was to be heralded. When the time and place of the Osborne campaign had been announced, people began to manifest their hunger for the miracle power of Christ. From all across the Netherlands they came, from the north and from the south, from the east and from the west, the heaviest traffic movement in Holland's history or a gospel crusade. The place of the Holland campaign was in the city of The Hague in a great open park known as the Mollyfest. Even here, traffic jams occurred. On to the Mollyfest flocked the sedate, conservative people of Holland, drawn by their hunger for the miraculous. Drawn 
driven by their need for the miracle power of Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whether in Africa or India, whether Muslim, Buddhist, or Hindu, whether idol-worshipping heathen or orthodox Christian, man's basic craving for God is the same. At last, the campaign was at hand. Mark chapter 2. Mark is the second chapter. Verse 17. And it's 17 to verse. They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. Die gezond zijn, hebben de medicijnmeester niet van nodig. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Ik ben niet gekomen om te Thus the evangelist began another of his faith-inspiring messages as he set forth the purpose of evangelism. He had come to minister in Holland exactly as he had ministered to the people of 29 other countries. Here was a man who believed that even the formal Dutchmen were no different than the Africans, or the Japanese, or the Indonesians, or the Latin Americans. It was the sick who needed a physician. It was the sinner who needed to repent. And that was why he had chosen the public Mollyfeld for his meetings. He is an evangelist. He knows his calling. He did not come for the churchmen and their sanctuaries. He is dedicated to bring healing to the sick and to bring sinners to repentance. That's why we've come to your country. That's why we're here today. To help you to repent. To help you who are sick to be healed. To help you who are not right with God to be saved. May God grant that this shall be the day of your deliverance. Jesus Christ is a healer. Jesus Christ is a geneesmeester. He always heals the sick. Hij genas altijd de zieken. And he's never changed. And he is never veranderd. The Bible says in Matthew 9. The Bible says in het negende hoofdstuk van Matthäus. Jesus Matthäus, went about all the cities. Jesus ging rondom al de steden. Teaching in their synagogues. Leerende in hun synagogen. Preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Predikende het evangelie van het koning. Healing every sickness. En genas alle ziekte. And every disease among the people. En alle Krankheden onder de mensen. Matthew chapter 8. En Matthäus het achtste hoofdstuk. When the even was come. Toen de avond gekomen was. They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. Brachten zij velen die met de duivel bezeten waren. He cast out the spirits with his word. En hij wierp de duivelen uit door zijn woord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he healed all that were sick. En hij genas alle Jezus en geneesmeesters. Look at Matthew chapter 12. En ziet naar Matthäus het twaalfde hoofdstuk. Great multitudes followed him. Een grote menigte van mensen volgde hem. And he healed them all. En hij genas hen. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. Jesus Christus gisteren, vandaag en tot in de eeuwigheid dezelfde dag. And whithersoever he entered into villages, en waar hij ook in de plaatsjes kwam, or cities, of steden, or the country, of in het land, they laid the sick in the streets. Zij brachten de zieken in de straten. And they besought him that they might touch just the border of his garment. En zij zochten hem dat zij maar alleen de zomerse kleed mochten aanraken. And hear this, en luister naar dit. As many as touched him were made whole. En zoveel hem aanraakten, werden gezond. As many as touched him were made whole. Dear friend, you too can touch him this very moment if you'll only believe. Will you believe? Will you reach out now and touch Christ through his word? Will be made ever with whole, I believe. Zij zullen gezond gemaakt worden in een geheel nooit veranderd. What he did then, he'll do now. Als hij toen deed, hij doet het ook. What kind of an early church would you have without the miracles in the book of Acts? Wat voor eerste gemeente zouden wij gehad hebben als er niet de wonderen waren waarvan wij lezen in het boek? The book of Acts is full of miracles. En het boek van handelingen is, begrijpt dat het boek van handelen is onze hoogste voorbeeld. 
is for me. It is for mij. U moet het volgende de boek hebben. En ik wil het boek van handelingen navolgen. Als ze dit in het boek hebben. Als ze dit in het boek van handelingen. Ik geloof het je bij zijn te denken. Dan geloof ik dat het ook vandaag moet geschieden. Ik ben kerst dat de wolf ben. Als ze duivelen dan uit vieren ben. We should cast them out today. Dan moeten we het ook vandaag doen. If sinners were saved in the book of Acts. En als zondaren gered werden in het boek van handelingen. They should be today. Dan moeten ze ook vandaag. I believe there's many today who want to call on the name of the Lord. En ik geloof zo. Vele als vandaag de naam des Heeren zal aanroepen. You want to be saved. Hij zult gered worden. Vele roepen dronk uit te slecht. Jesus says. Jesus says. In the come of the me. Uh, en ieder die tot mij zal komen. I will in no wise cast out. Die zal ik geen zins uitwerpen. The Bible says. De Bijbel zegt. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. En ieder die de naam des Heeren zal aanroepen. Shall be saved. Zal gered worden. And you too, dear friend, can decide now. Christ stands now, waiting at your heart's door. Accept him now as your savior. Join with the people of Holland and be saved right here and now. All right, repeat after me. And zeg het na mij. Say, O oh Lord in heaven. Zeg, O oh Heeren in de hemel. I come to you now. Ik kom tot u nu. I ask forgiveness for my sins. Ik vraag vergeving van mijn zonden. I open my heart now. Ik open mijn hart nu. Come into my heart. Come in mijn hart nu. Lord, and I come to you now, here. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I believe now. I believe it now. That you blotted out my sins. That you have my sins blotted out. Right now, I believe I'm saved. At this moment, I believe that I'm saved. But David said. Forget not all his benefits. Not only does he forgive all thine iniquities, he also healeth all thy diseases. And Jesus said, If thou canst only believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And every one that asketh, receiveth. That, my friends, includes you now. As the people of Holland call on the Lord, you too can ask him for what you need. He will answer the prayers of your heart right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. By your power. Door uw kracht. I believe you're healing me. Ik geloof gij geneest mij. Hallelujah. Open your eyes. Open your ogen. That's wonderful. Oh, that is wonderful. Is that 
Touch up for the right. Die krukken om verder omhoog. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look behind. Oh, kijk eens daar achter. How many behind the platform? Hoe veel achter het platform geloven dat ze geniet voor hem? Thousands of you back. Oh, er zijn duizenden hier achterom. Jezus naam. Act your faith. En breng uw geloof in acht. And only believe. En geloof alleen. Hallelujah. People are getting up everywhere. Oh, de mensen staan op overal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody say praise the Lord. Iedereen zegt praise the Lord. How many of you believe God's healing you today? How many of you believe that God is healing you today? If you've been healed by an outstanding miracle, God will tell us. As you have been healed by a miracle, there's a woman up walking. And here is a woman up walking. And here is another woman who walks. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! There's a man handing up his earphones. And here is a man who gives the power up and up. And so the Lord began to confirm His word with signs and wonders. Testifying afresh that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. This young woman suffered from multiple cirrhosis for 24 years, the last 10 in a wheelchair. Then God's healing power flowed into her, and once more she began to learn to walk. This Indonesian boy, born with an imperfect heart, could walk only by leaning on his mother or his sister. But now, watch him run. Now his heart is strong, for God's mercy has made him a normal boy. I praise the Lord. Right there. Hallelujah. God bless you, my young brother. God bless you, my young brother. And keep your faith in God. And how to follow in God. And you, friend, have you kept your faith in God? Can you rejoice as does this Holland youth, knowing that God works wonders for those with enduring faith? He will do the same for you here and now. See how this sick woman, through faith, was restored to perfect health. When God heals multiple sclerosis, that's a miracle. Wanneer God multiple sclerose geneest, dat is een wonder. Yes, God's healing multiple sclerosis is a miracle. But he performed miracle after miracle for those with faith in Holland. Hallelujah! 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 Amen! Through faith, God restored hearing to her deaf ears, and the joy of this miracle is revealed in her face. Through faith, vision was returned to this child's sightless right eye. No. <laughs> you happy? Praise the Lord. Amen. As it was in Christ's time, so it was in our time during the Holland Wonder. Believers were the more added to the Lord. Are you ready to testify your faith by accepting Christ? Seeing the miracles God has wrought for others, how can you wait? See what the Lord does for those who truly believe. This woman was born cross-eyed. Now her faith has made her Your eyes are beautiful, just as great as they can be. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's wonderful. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This man's back was broken by brutality in a war prison camp. Starved, beaten, thrown repeatedly against a wall. He had to hobble about on two sticks for 15 years. Then God's miraculous healing power made him completely whole. Yeah. 
She trusted God to heal her broken back, and through this faith was made every whit of. You should feel the thing. Thirteen pounds. Is your daughter's mood to go foolish? Session three. Session three to four. Do you think it's a wonder for God to do that? Thank you, that that's a wonder for God is on this. Please praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Put up your hands and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for it. God bless that woman. This youth suffered from four to six epileptic seizures daily. He was a semi-invalid, walking on crutches. Then, healed during the Holland Wonder, he leaps and runs to demonstrate his healing. And then returns to testify and express his joy. Likewise, this grateful woman testifies of her miraculous healing. Confined to a wheelchair for 22 years, unable to walk and in constant pain, she found healing while the gospel was being proclaimed. Indeed, another wonder of God for the people of Holland. This woman's eyes were nearly blind, but with her heart, she clearly perceived God's promises, and so her sight returned. This man, six years a cripple, now dances with the woman nearest him to express his joy. Friends in the audience congratulate him for the wonder God has performed in his life. This little girl was totally deaf for nine and a half years. Then, through a miracle of God, her hearing returned. This Dutch youth couldn't stand erect or bend or lift his arms above his head because of an injury to his back. Now, see what God has done for him. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you, my brother. Although her eardrum was removed by surgery 18 years ago, God restored her hearing through a creative miracle, one of the outstanding wonders of the Holland Crusade. Praise the Lord indeed for the Holland wonder. An amazing spiritual awakening through mass evangelism in this, our generation. Praise God for the Holland wonder, for it is evidence that the compassion of Christ is as real today as it was in the day of the apostles. Thousands abandoned a man-made theology and received the living Christ. And a soul-stirring, dynamic faith demonstrated and confirmed by miracles. I thought it good to show the signs and the wonders which the high God hath wrought toward me. How great are his signs, and how mighty are his wonders. And now, my friend, I have made known to you the Holland wonder. Jesus said, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. That is our commission. That is world evangelism. To that end, we are dedicated that the peoples of this, our generation, around the world, might see the spiritual wonders of God and be saved. And now, what about you? Are you saved? Do you know Christ? Do you need his healing power? 
for his saving grace. He says to you right now, if thou canst only believe, all things are possible. What God has done for the peoples of Holland, he will do for you right here and now, every one of you. I beg of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, believe and receive now. Thank you.